Hello, and welcome to Jacksonville State University's Fall 2020 Virtual Percussion Ensemble Concert. I'm Dr. Matthew Jordan, and I'm one of the percussion faculty here at JSU. We appreciate you spending some time with us watching our concert. I know it's been a fun production for all of us to put together. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our first piece, Dave Hall's Tilted Spheres. Hope you enjoy the concert.
All right, so now that we've heard the first piece, I think it's important to talk about the production of this concert. One of the interesting things that we did was involve the students in the production of this concert entirely. So that means that all the pieces you hear tonight are going to be recorded, edited, and produced exclusively by JSU students and faculty. So special shout out to the three students who did the primary bulk of this load, which are Zachary Odom, Josh Anderson, and Bal Tran. Big thank you to them for helping with all of the production, editing, and uh, recording of all of these projects. So the next pieces on the program are going to be Daiki Kato's The Last Game, as well as Paul Rennick's Slopes.
The next piece on the program is a very interesting composition entitled Electrobot by composer Andrea Mazzariello. One of the interesting things about this piece is it's written for four MIDI percussion controllers. And you also use that with sampled sounds and are able to create some very cool textures from some EDM and dance music inspired sounds, but written in a very contemporary percussion style. So I have a short video explaining some of the technology behind this piece. So here's a computer here where it's running both Logic Pro. Let me move over Logic. This is running our click track so the players can kind of stay synchronized through in here, as well as all the MIDI signals coming from the mallet stations over there into here. Also, all the players have an iPad. That iPad is used for their music. And these things that you see down here are actually things that actually change the page for them as they get to the section of the music so they don't have to worry about changing pages in the dark within that. So we also have our lighting set up. So this is a program called Light Key. So if I click on any of these notes, you'll see each player, this is a MIDI command that's gonna come from Mallet Station. So for example, for player two, if I click this wobble here, you'll see the lights flash. If I click a sustain note, it'll play kind of a longer note. If I play a hi-hat, it'll play on a different light. So each player has two lights, one for more rhythmic sounds, one for more sustained sounds. So you can tell that light was from a sustain sound as it goes off. So the Mallet Station is right here. They have a in-ear pack that they use to listen to things. This audio interface then takes the information from the players and then sends that out to the audience and then also sends it into the player's ears so they can hear themselves. So hope that has been a good look into our piece Electrobot. Hope you enjoy.
One of the most exciting things that happened this year with JSU Music is we moved into our new Mason Hall. We're very excited about this. The building has been renovated for the past few years, and we are now up and running in Mason Hall and have been since the beginning of the fall. We're really excited to show you some of the percussion facilities that we have. So the first room we're showing you is our new band room. This has been renovated. We have a nice pass through from here into our concert hall. And now we've moved into our percussion storage room, which is right across the hall from our concert hall, which is great. So we also have uh, room for all of our audio. Students have lockers. We have plenty of storage space for all of our instruments in locked cabinets. And as we go across the hall, we'll go into the recital hall. Our recital hall is really uh, excellent for percussion because it, it has a nice controlled sound uh, within there. It's great for music with electronics as well. So as we go through the door here, we're going to my office and you'll see that we have a full recording set up in pretty much every teaching studio. So in here we have microphones set up on all the instruments, on timpani, on marimba, on vibes, uh, and then a ability to record video and monitor here at the same time. So we're now here in Mr. Gillespie's office uh, listening to Matt Lewis's jury and you'll see that we also have recording equipment in there as well. Now we move to a room that we use for both teaching and practice. You'll notice we have a five octave marimba, a vibraphone, some electronics, and two drum sets for teaching. We now move to our percussion practice hallway. So we have a handful of marimbas here. We have a room with a drum set for practice. We have this chamber percussion room where we can use for small ensembles with two marimbas and vibraphone and timpani. Uh, we have another few marimba rooms for practice, and we also have a room for vibraphone. As you can imagine, we are very excited about the new facilities that we have and the opportunities it presents for percussionists moving forward. So let me introduce the next two pieces on the program, which are Fidget by Nathan Daughtry, as well as the first movement of John Cage's Dance Music for Alfred Ide. Thank you. 
So now that we've heard a few pieces on the program, I figured I would introduce our percussion faculty to you here at JSU. So as I mentioned before, I'm Dr. Matthew Jordan, and I teach the percussion ensemble here at JSU, as well as work with the private lesson students, as well as teach our percussion methods course uh, to our music education majors. Then we also have Mr. Clint Gillespie, and he works with the drumline and front ensemble for the Marching Southerners, as well as teach private lessons and also run a concert band. Then we also have our department chair, Dr. Tony McCutcheon, who teaches our drum set lessons, jazz vibe lessons, as well as the steel band we have at JSU. And then we also have an adjunct instructor, Mr. Sean Womack, who deals with private lessons throughout that. We are very fortunate to have this amazing group of percussion faculty here. We really work well together, and we really enjoy working with our amazing and talented students. The next two pieces on the program are going to be Bela Flex by Cyclops, arranged by Dave Steinquest, and also Bradley Slater's Breakdown.
before we close the concert with the last piece on the program, I wanted to discuss opportunities for studying music here at JSU. As percussionists, we have a wide range of ensembles that are available to students, including two percussion ensembles, three concert bands, a steel band, Latin jazz ensemble, big bands, jazz combos, as well as the world-renowned Marching Southerners. So a large number of ensembles for students to participate in. We also have excellent scholarship opportunities, both through the band and through other departments within the university. If you are interested in finding out more about studying music at JSU, please visit www.jsu.edu slash music, and you can find out more about the scholarship opportunities there. I'd also recommend following us on Facebook at Jacksonville State University Percussion Studio, and also on Instagram at the same place. I want to introduce the last piece on the program. This is Cliff Walker's Promise Music. Thanks again for tuning in to our concert.
Thank you once again for tuning in to the Jacksonville State University Fall 2020 Virtual Percussion Ensemble Concert. We had a really fun time putting together all these pieces for you, and we really again want to thank you for spending your time with us. We hope you have a great holiday break, and once again, if you want to find out more about JSU Music, please follow us at www.jsu.edu music, or follow us on Facebook at Jacksonville State University Percussion Studio, or Instagram at the same handle. Thanks again. Have a great holiday season.